Uh, so you're part of the Red Hat. I've heard of that. I like my wine and my going oh. to the beach, okay? Okay, <laughs> great. You, you, okay. And um, have you ever served on a jury before? No. Okay. Now we're going to move on to somebody else. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, I'm sorry we have to do it in a group setting, but if I were to meet you or if Mr. Romero were to meet you and we were to try to find out, we would be able to talk and just in a very nice setting at wherever we were. But unfortunately, we've got to do it because we're trying to find out a little bit about you. You know, we want to know whether you would be a good juror in this particular case. I am so sorry that the media is there, but as we talked about, you know, there's freedom of the press, and we live in this great country, and so we have to do that, unfortunately. So it takes away his privileges. I'm sorry. I said that. I feel that takes away his privileges because they put everything everywhere, so it takes yeah. away his rights. And when you say his, you're talking about the defendants? Yes. The fact that you're giving information about what you do for a living? Well, it takes away my rights, too, because they're going to publish it. Yeah, they're going to be a, there's going to be an article or something about B12, but they still don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure they'll be guessing about who it is. Unfortunately, I, you know, we'd love to be able to say they got to remain outside the courtroom, because as you realize, you're in this part of the courtroom, right? There's some doors there. There's one door swings. They, the media has to stay outside, but unfortunately we can't control it. They have that right. So I appreciate you bearing with me as, as I ask these questions. And I would like to say that to the rest of you. We're not trying to embarrass you or anything, but unfortunately there's no other way than to do it this way. If you can think of a better way, I'd like to know, but you got to remember there's a First Amendment. Okay, 